All right, so what are some means and extremes in algebra? I mean, what is exactly is that? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college of mathematics for nine years, and we're here to just discuss a definition of what means and extremes are, and then give an example to, as to see how those terms can be used and solved for. Now, means and extremes are used often in ratios and proportions. And so what I want you to look at first is this ratio of A to B, and then you notice the set of double colons here, C to D. Now, part of where mean, the word mean gets its meaning from is middle. It comes from the word that means middle. Now, if you notice here, B and C are the letters most in the middle. So that's why B and C, by definition, they are called your means. A and D, being on the outside, they would be called your extremes. So D is considered an extreme here, and A is considered an extreme here. Now, to write this in fraction form, A to B, that means A is on top, B is at the bottom, and C to D means C is on top, D is on the bottom. So, if you're in fraction form, the B and C are your means, and your A's and D's are your extremes here. Now here's a case in point on how to solve one of these. Suppose you have 3 over 2 equals 5 over x. Now, your means are the 2 and the 5, and your extremes are your 3 and your x. But if you're okay with cross multiplication, solving this becomes very straightforward, because this is all you have to do. Just take the denominator and multiply it by the numerator on the other side. So x times 3 is going to be 3x. And then take this denominator and multiply it by the other numerator. So 2 times 5 is going to be 10. Solving for x, divide 3 on both sides. And so you have x is equal to 10 over 3. And that is how you solve it. So I'm Jimmy, and you've just learned how means and extremes work in algebra.